Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the plugin SuperTrails. To install the plugin, head over to the plugins tab in the control panel, change to the spigot tab here and type in SuperTrails as one word. Make sure you get the right version and hit install. After that, restart the server and you're ready to go. Before we test this plugin, I'll quickly show you the config, which can be found in the plugins folder here. In the config, you can change a lot of options, far too many to explain them all in this video. Most of them are minor changes, but some of them are major ones. For example, you can have custom messages, you can change how the GUI looks, if a certain trail is enabled on login or not, and if you're allowed to have multiple trails. However, if you want to know more about each individual option, head over to the plugin page as there is an annotated version of the config. I'm going to leave things as default. If you want to use permissions, make sure you have a permissions plugin and the correct permission nodes added to the right groups or players. All the permission nodes can be found on the plugin page as well, and the plugin page link is in the description. Now that we're done with that, let's check out these trails. One of the commands is slash super trails, and these are basically your admin commands. We're not going to use any of these for now, but to actually open a GUI for you to select a trail, type in slash trails. Here you'll get a little menu and you can select any of the ones you want. It will take far too long for me to try them all out, so I'll just try out a few of these. If some of these don't work for you for some reason, make sure you read the plugin page and ask questions there, or contact our support team for any further inquiries. And apart from that, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.